Hello, it's Scott Manley here. Now in Florida, early this morning, there was an explosion involving some expensive historical spaceflight hardware. Yes, it was a planned demolition of the launch towers at Launch Complex 17. Launch Complex 17 has a long and glorious history in spaceflight. It was originally built for the Thor uh, IRBM, Intermediate Range Ballistic Missile. Now, Thor became a launch vehicle by mating it with various upper stages. So there was Thor Able, Thor Able Star, and through various iterations, they eventually came up with Thor Delta. Thor Delta became the Delta series of launchers that we know today, and Launch Complex 17 handled them all up till the Delta 3 tests. Delta 3 obviously never turned into a proper rocket, and Delta 4, incidentally, has almost no relation to Delta 3. The only real similarities are the structure of the upper stage and fairing on the lighter versions. But yeah, Delta 2 was a fantastic rocket and launched many, many payloads. Launch uh, Complex 17 was also upgraded to, to form to handle the heavy version of the Delta II, which all they did was they took the larger solid rocket boosters off the Delta III and slapped them on a Delta II. Um, so yeah, um, what, what, what was launched out of this? We've had Telstar 1, which was the first communication satellite, the first commercial communication satellite. It's launched Mir, uh, sorry, Near, Mars Global Surveyor, Pathfinder, Deep Space One, Mars Odyssey, uh, Stereo, Themis, Grail, like so many awesome spacecraft have come out of this launch complex. And I'm going to say it's also one of the sites of one of the more spectacular launch failures where a Delta II carrying a GPS satellite exploded seconds after launch because the one of the solid rocket boosters essentially uh, ruptured it split up the site it unzipped essentially and this was because the booster had been mishandling as it was handled as it was being attached to the rocket uh, that explosion scattered burning debris all over the area for thousands of feet around so it it's one of these ones that often turns up in the most spectacular rocket failures ever so, uh, yeah, I mean, it's kind of amazing to see this. The Delta II is only now flying out of Vandenberg. There's one more launch, and that, if that works, that should make 100 successful launches for that launch vehicle, which would be pretty cool. But, of course, Delta IV is now the current generation of Delta, and it's likely to be the last Delta because, of course, ULA are moving over to Vulcan, which, are, which is going to be their next generation of launch vehicle to compete with SpaceX. So they're demolishing these launch towers because they're, of course, uh, wanting to reuse the site. The new resident will be Moon Express, who want, don't want to launch anything from the site, but they do want to use it to test their lunar landing capabilities. Moon Express is essentially a Silicon Valley tech company that wants to offer cheap... Uh, cheap delivery to the surface of the moon using their uh, launch, their vehicle. They were originally going to participate in the lunar, Google Lunar X Prize, but of course, since uh, the start of this year, it's been realized that none of the competitors in that challenge would actually make the deadline. But regardless, they're continuing to work on this, and it would be nice to see if they actually put something on the surface of the moon. The launch vehicle that they've talked about using, and as far as I can tell, still talk about using, is the Electron rocket. Uh, Le Electron rocket may or may not be finally used because we don't know just how much mass their uh, launch vehicle, oh, sorry, their upper stage is going to require. But, um, you know, we'll see. E Electron's obviously still waiting to perform its third launch. They had a launch window open for its business time, but unfortunately, none of the, they never managed to get it off. And uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see what happens there. Anyway, yeah, it's been an interesting morning. Could also talk about that whole blazar neutrino gamma ray thing, but uh, I'm going to have to actually do a little more reading so I can talk about that with uh, some knowledge. I'm Scott Manley. Fly safe. Mm -hmm.